<laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I'm going to make this video very short. Uh, this is a rebuke video. And as the scripture says, uh, if the shoe fits, wear it. Well, maybe I heard that somewhere else. I don't think that's in the scriptures, but <laughs> if this applies to you, then I rebuke you. If not, then uh, uh, it's not intended for you. Uh, I have experienced uh, quite a few people who make comments on my videos, and it's obvious they didn't even watch the video. That is, uh, I would say, ignorant and dishonest. Um, if if you decide to make a comment on a video, and I discern that you didn't watch the video, it's your comment is going to be um, blocked or removed. And you will be blocked and removed out of my life. I don't want to deal with people that um, have that kind of an ignorant attitude. Personally, uh, I'm beginning to wonder if I'm the only one that actually will listen to opposing viewpoints and give the other side a fair hearing. Uh, take, for example, this study on Paul onlyism Before I ever decided to make a video against Paul onlyism I watched and listened very carefully to well over a hundred videos that were made by Brother Greg, a, a prominent uh, Paul Onlyist. I also watched videos by uh, uh, someone called Pastor Jordan and then a person, Les Feldick, uh, and numerous other people, uh, Sister Sandra, Ahavala. Uh, I probably listened to 150 or 200 videos from the Paul Onlyist before I ever decided to make a video against it. Partly because they're grace believers and I love them and they're, they're real saints and, and truly saved. Uh, but uh, before I was going to uh, refute them, I needed to learn what they were actually teaching. So I listened and I, I took notes and I studied it very carefully. Um, and I, I came to my conclusions that they were wrong in, in, in a hundred different ways. And then I decided to make videos explaining why they're wrong. Uh, I've done the same kind of uh, approach. Uh, when it came to uh, my conclusions on the book of James, uh, my conclusions on eternal torment, uh, my conclusions on Bible translations, uh, my conclusions on Trinity versus modalism, I've taken the same attitude and approach on all kinds of theological subjects and questions. I've been willing to listen to the other side, give them a fair hearing. If you are not willing to do that, then don't participate. I'm certainly not going to approve your comments if I, you know, it's, it's obvious you didn't watch the video. Now, if you are willing to adopt this attitude, that you will hear me out. And not just me, but anybody. If you're, uh, listen to a video and be fair. Now, if you want to, Make a comment saying you disagree, and you can do it with courtesy and respect. Uh, if you want to make a, a video uh, showing me where I'm wrong, and you can do it with courtesy and respect, that's fine. I welcome any kind of criticism, and I will watch your video with fairness. But uh, uh, it's unfortunate. I, I'm just not finding very many people at all who are willing to listen to opposing views. Not only listen to them with the possibility that you might be persuaded, but listen to them before you even decide to go about correcting and refuting them. That's intellectual dishonesty. That's something I'm not going to tolerate. So, uh, if this doesn't apply to you, then, uh, you know, uh, it's not intended for you. 
But if it does apply to you, then either change or, or don't participate. And if you continue doing this, if you've done it in the past, I rebuke you. And for everyone else, uh, bless you. In the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.